renewable energy, we've also found ourselves specifically interested in things like the green hydrogen, because while we like the green hydrogen project, we also feel like the state is also short-sighted in only seeing us in a scholarship position and assuming that we all first need to go to school, but not assuming that maybe there are entrepreneurially young Namibians there who could also find opportunities along the value chains of the whole green hydrogen system. How about deploying some funds for such incubation and startups as opposed to saying we must all apply for school because there are Namibians who just cannot go to school due to their conditions at home and many other pro um, competing interests. So I've been um, actively involved in negotiating as well with the government's delegation on climate change. This then has ex exposed me more or less to an international and regional community to see what, what the benchmark and the best practice is for other countries and continents and where Namibia is lacking. Because these industries of the future will, will obviously rely upon the ability of young people. Most of them are technologically centered. And I think it's important then to adv advocate for industries in which young people have an advantage over. Because competitively as the youth, we can't really get into mining. We can't really get into uh, exploration. Uh, while those industries are open, they're quite capital intensive. And we don't have the necessary resources for that. But when you look at renewable energy, we can get into the maintenance and operations of such technologies.